Situated on nearly 10 acres of land, Alwood represents the most impressive sprawling estate in Los Angeles. My name is Eric Conover, and I'm going to take you on a tour of this one-of-a-kind estate in Los Angeles, California. This incredible mansion has nine bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. It is 12,201 square feet, listed exclusively by Sally Forster Jones and Tomer Friedman, asking $115 million. Now, if you're already subscribed to my channel, you know that in this series, we tour the most incredible luxury apartments in New York City. And we have some pretty ridiculous apartments coming up in future episodes, so make sure to click that subscribe button. So today I'm giving a tour of this one of a kind estate to my good friend, Mike Sheffer. Mike, what do you think of this property? I think the word estate is the perfect title for where we are right now. I mean, when you come into this driveway, you're going through these gorgeous double gates up this long driveway into this private secluded grand entrance. There's a water fountain here. The size of the house is impressive enough, let alone how much land we are actually sitting on right now. I mean, we're in Los Angeles, but I cannot see another neighbor no matter where I look. This is true privacy, true luxury, and stepping in here really feels like you're walking into a piece of Hollywood heritage. This is actually three different pieces of property that have been combined over the years to make it the largest compound in the area. So before we show you the inside of the mansion, I think we should show them the land first. Yeah, let's, let's tour the property itself. Let's go. With this amount of land, you can truly do whatever you want, but this estate already comes with some pretty cool features on site. So a quick little hike across the Great Lawn, we arrive at the on-property tennis court. To have a full-size tennis court on the property really shows how large this place truly is. And the fact that it's hidden from the rest of the house, it feels more like a private country club than a home. And that just goes to show you the sheer size of the property that you get when you spend $115 million. And of course, no piece of California real estate is complete without an Olympic sized swimming pool in your backyard. For a little bit of perspective, this is how large an Olympic sized pool actually looks in your backyard. To be able to have an Olympic sized swimming pool on your property usually means it's gonna take up a lot of space. But the fact is this swimming pool is only a small, small piece of the overall land that you get here. So if the full size tennis court, the Olympic sized pool, the sprawling lawn, if they weren't enough, welcome to the guest house slash pool house. Usually when you think of a pool house, you think of like a shed where you keep towels or maybe a little bit more than just a bathroom, but this is a proper full sized home just to be a pool house. Just, just to have it. The pool house comes complete with an outdoor eating area. It has this guest family common room, whatever you'd like to call it, complete with a fireplace. It has an on-site mini kitchen, and of course, an extra bedroom in case you wanna crash by your pool and just sleep out here for the night. Honestly, some nights I feel like I would just sleep out here. You have a full kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, you have a whole home, everything you need, plus a pool steps away, and we haven't even been inside the main house yet. Do you know that Jay-Z actually threw a Grammy party in this house? I think I've seen photos of that. Was that this estate? Jay-Z has been here. Marilyn Monroe has stayed here. This home was actually owned by Cher at one point. So welcome to the inside of the Alwood Estate. This feels like I'm walking into a piece of art and you can just see the craftsmanship and love that went into building this place. Really look at all the intricate details of the woodwork on these walls. Yeah, I mean, this is extremely impressive. Mike, give that a little push. Push? Whoa! Hidden door? No! Moving from the grand entrance, we walk into the first sitting room in the back of the house which is really nice, it faces south, it's sun drenched, very warm, kind of just a place to greet your guests when they come to your estate. And if you want a little bit more sunshine, these double doors right here lead out into another sitting area. And again, because you're so secluded here, you can sit outside and you feel like you're in the middle of a forest, even though you're in the middle of Los Angeles, that's how incredible this property is. From this first sitting room back out into the entrance, Mike, welcome to the grand living room. The first thing I notice in here, one is the echo, how large the space truly is. But second, it is the fine details on the crown molding. You just don't really see that kind of craftsmanship anymore. 
Then of course, along the center wall, you had the fireplace, the heart of this room, making our way over to this corner here where you have the grand piano. This is a home where you'd expect to see Jay Gatsby over there on the piano playing a tune. When you think of that classic Hollywood era, this is what you think of. We're gonna leave this wing of the house, walk across the hallway, continuing the tour on the first floor. Welcome to the formal dining room in the mansion. This is the kind of place to eat where you invite the top of the industry, the top of the game. When you have guests that you want to impress, this is the room you bring them to to have a meal. Every single square inch of this room is a masterpiece. From the gorgeously intricate woodwork on all of the walls to this incredibly impressive, beautiful marble fireplace and this giant executive oversized gorgeous dining room table. Then right off of the formal dining room through these curtains, we have a more casual eating space, which is more or less a breakfast nook. And I also love that we move from these deep wood tones into this white room that has an incredible contrast between the two spaces. Again, facing south, nice and lit up, very good energy in here, more of a place to chill out, have your morning coffee, and just relax, start the day off. Not only is this dining room beautiful, it's also very functional. Through this door here, we enter into the pantry where your chef is going to store all the food, all the supplies, which is also right next to the master chef's kitchen. Now it's very interesting to note that this is the only kitchen in the entire mansion. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. When you are the owner of an estate like this, you're gonna have a staff of cooks and chefs on site 24 hours a day, making you any meal that you want. This house is a labyrinth, and right off of this kitchen area, you have the guest wing quarters where you could have your friends staying, your master chef, and the rest of your staff that help you maintain this estate. When Jay-Z threw his huge Grammy party, this is where all the preparation took place, this is where all the staff was, all the chefs cooking and preparing back here behind the scenes from the rest of the main house. Right off of this chef's kitchen, down on the lower level, we go to the entertainment room. This to me feels like the after hours entertainment room. There's a couple of couches, the pool table, a fireplace. This is where you bring some of your closer friends after the party's over and kind of wind down the night in this beautiful private area. So we're back to the center of the home. We're gonna head up this grand staircase to the second floor of this mansion. What immediately strikes me about this area is that the height of the ceiling spans from the floor all the way to the top of the mansion. There's this gorgeous chandelier hanging right down the center, and this really epitomizes the entire estate in one room. It's worth noting that this entire wing of the mansion is the master suite. Mike, welcome to the master bedroom. One of the main things to point out is the level of intricate detail on the woodwork above all the windows. Like, you don't see that anywhere anymore. Do you even see there's a face carved into yeah, the corner? This is not a place for a regular person. This is for someone who has earned the level of luxury that you get when you purchase this home. Moving through this door, we enter the master bathroom, which is decked out to the nines with time period pieces. You have the gold accents on the tub and the sink over here with the dark marble. Making our way from the bathroom to the powder room, decked out with mirrors all over the wall. Continuing on around to the walk-in closet back out into the main bedroom area, walking through this passageway to the living room that is in the master wing of this house. This could also serve as an office area. Again, the sunlight pouring in from the south. And then you have the balcony here where these floor to ceiling doors open up with a view of the woods of the estate. Mike, from the living room, we go through another passageway and I want you to open this door right here. Wow. So this is an authentic six foot tall safe that is bolted to the beams of this structure. This property is selling for $115 million. And you know for sure the person that has that type of money is gonna to wanna to have a bit of an insurance policy. This is it. Additionally, on the second floor, there are two more of the nine bedrooms that come in this mega mansion. Now this home is very specific. It's from a very distinct time period in history, and it's gonna take a very specific buyer to purchase this property. Now, if you had $115 million to buy the Alwood Estate, what would you do with this place? Would you buy it as is and leave everything the same? Would you renovate the entire house? Or would you buy it just for the land? We're curious to know, so comment down below what you would do. Thank you again for watching another episode. And with that, we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Bet.